elsewhere. The controller of budget has spilled the beans over irregular payments amounting to over 15 billion Kenya shillings made in the run-up to the August 9th, 2022 general election. Appearing before the National Assembly Committee on Public Petitions, Dr. Margaret Nyakango told MPs that she was put under duress to approve the irregular payments. Stephen Leto now reports. Even if it's not that the controller of budget made public irregular payments that she claims were sanctioned by the executive a few days to the August 9 polls. The controller of budget told MPs that she was coerced to approve the payments. From where I sit, I have to use a lot of discretion. And I'm also human. When I'm under threat, I have to self-preserve, like you have seen. So you cannot say that if I see this, it's a black and white yes or it is a no. Four days to the August 2022 polls, that is the 4th of August 2022, Nyakango claims former Treasury CS Ukuriatani through his WhatsApp sent a message to the control of budget saying, Good afternoon, please also facilitate similar approvals for infrastructure for amounts 8 billion shillings and 2 billion shillings. More than one hour later, without a reply from Nyakango at 3.33 p.m., Yatani added, please help us expedite these. At 3.34 p.m., Yatani insisted via WhatsApp message to the control of budget saying, H.E., to mean the president, might even call you if we don't deal with this by 4 p.m. In the entire afternoon conversation, this message seems to have rattled Nyakango, who replied asking, are you saying we have 26 minutes to complete the process? Yatani then told the control of budget that the president then Uhuru Kenyatta had just called him and that he had assured the president that the controller had promised to sort the payments by close of business that day. The time was ticking. The then Treasury CS intensified pressure to have the approval. He told Nyakango and I quote, I know he will call again. He persuaded some guys to resume work and promised that their bill will be settled today. But Nyakango stayed put, saying she is not in office, but Yatani advised her to, quote, devise how to deal with it. I'm sorry, but try. Before Kenyans went to the polls, the Office of the Control of Budget signed out what she said was under duress as staggering 15 billion shillings. Even as I sit here, I'm still not convinced. Uh, what the total amount of money that was approved? That was approved. Uh, this, this is coming to... 15.5 for the two billion. Yes. Need this communication so that the public knows the, what, what was going on. Because this is theft of public funds direct. Six billion shillings was approved for the payments of Helios investments, but Parliament halted the payments. Other payments approved were payments for maize flour subsidy, amounting to four billion shillings, but stakeholders have since complained that the payments were not made to them despite the hurry to have payments approved. Do not have questions on the maize flour subsidy because on the face of it, it appeared like a noble uh, idea. Uh, everybody would see that the prices of maize flour had gone up, so we were all hoping that the prices would go down, although we never really saw the cheap flour. The Kenya Defense Forces also spent 2.2 billion shillings during that period that the control of budget says our office is not comfortable with. Defense, you know, like I said, I, I insisted that the amount be put in there, in the consolidated fund. Yes. Yes. And, you went ahead and, approved. and I went ahead and approved. The controller of budget also wants investigations into a 27 billion shilling subsidy fund that was approved to ease pressure in the petroleum sector during the same period. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.